color grade sevens. It's natural sciences, which means you're with Helen for a while and we're going to continue exploring the different physical properties of materials. But what we're going to do now today is to shift our attention away from those physical properties and understand how the production of these materials has an impact on our environment. So the production and the use of different materials impacts on the environment. So what do we mean by impact? Well, if you were to hit a ball with a bat, the moment that the bat touched the ball, we would say it had made an impact or they had impacted each other. So impact kind of means to hit or to have some kind of influence on something else. So if we say that materials impact the environment, it means that they influence the environment in some way. Now in the past, scientists and technologists crafted, made, developed different materials without giving too much thought to what that impact would be on the environment. But today, we are very, very concerned about the impact that our lives as humans have on the environment. And we are a society that uses materials. And many of these materials are not natural materials, but they have been put together, different materials being put together and changed and burned and heated and frozen and all sorts of things done to them. And in the production process, in making these materials, we have an impact on the environment. And then in using the materials, we have a further impact on the environment. Now, in today's lesson, we're going to focus on the impact of material production. So, we know that certain materials are in their raw material state in the ground, such as gold and coal. But we extract metals and other substances from the ground from the earth and we convert them, we change them, we combine them, we heat them, we do all sorts of things to these materials in order to produce products that we need. And in producing these products, very often the actual production processes can harm the environment. Now we're going to choose one production process today and we're going to focus on it. We're going to look at the impact of mining on the environment. You need to understand that you could be looking at the impact of plastic making or the impact of paper making on the environment. There are lots of different material production processes that you could explore. We've just chosen to focus on mining. Now we know that mining of materials is very important to our economy here in South Africa. In particular, we know that South Africa has a very rich and diverse uh, supply of different materials right there in our ground waiting to be mined and to be used in different production processes. The economy of all countries all around the world is dependent on mining. But because of our rich natural resources that we do have in South Africa, the mining of these materials is specifically important to our South African economy. So what are some of the things that we mine and produce here in South Africa? Well, I've put in some photographs for you to see the real thing. This is iron ore. And we uh, mine a great deal of iron ore, which 
as it's by itself, the iron ore is pretty useless. We need to convert it by different production processes into very useful materials like stainless steel, for example. Can you identify what this is? This is coal, and we all know how important coal mining is for the production of electricity, for example. This slightly shiny metal is called chromium, and chromium is very important in South Africa. And remember I said that iron ore by itself is not really that useful, but we can add chromium to iron and we can get something that is shiny, a shiny kind of metal or a coated metal, and that is important too. I'm sure you can all identify what this is. This is gold. And this is a nugget of gold as it comes out of either underground or to me this looks more like a nugget of gold that was found in a river because it's been weathered and it has rounded shiny ends. This gold by itself once again needs to be used in a production uh, mode in order to make a material that is useful to us. Can you identify what that is? That is a rough diamond. So it hasn't been cut, it hasn't been polished, it doesn't look all beautiful, but we all know that diamond mining is extremely important in South Africa. This substance, also shiny, is platinum. And platinum is very expensive. It's a very expensive metal and it's very, very important in a wide range of products. We think of maybe platinum only being important in jewelry, but we know that platinum is an important component of your motor car's exhaust system in order to remove the carbon monoxide from your engine and convert it into carbon dioxide, which is less harmful to us humans than carbon monoxide is. So you may have heard that inside your exhaust systems or vehicles, you've got something called a catalytic converter. And platinum inside the catalytic converter helps us to keep our air slightly cleaner and less poisonous. So platinum is beautiful, but it's also very, very useful. Now, Although these products are there in the ground, mining them and putting them to use in production is very important to our economy. But the economy isn't the only thing we need to worry about. Mining has a huge negative impact on the environment. So it has a positive impact on our economy but a negative impact on the environment. And you just have to have a good look at these two photographs to see some of that negative impact. When we look at photographs, we look at something that we're seeing and we can recognize and we can understand that yes, first of all, these mine dumps and slag dams or slimes dams look very ugly. But we need to go beyond what they look like to really explore the impact that they have on the environment. So if you live in Gauteng, you would be possibly very familiar with these typical gold mine dumps. If you lived in areas in Pumalanga, you are more familiar with coal mine dumps and so on all around South Africa. If you live in Kimberley, you're very familiar with the big hole of Kimberley, which was originally a diamond mine. So we know that in terms of appearances, different areas will show evidence in the environment of the impact of mining. But let's explore some of those mining effects on the environment a little more closely than just what we see when we look at mine dumps. So lots of different impacts of mining on the environment. We're going to start up here with 
air pollution. We know that constructing a mine and bringing substances from underground out to the surface creates dumps usually and this is sand that gets blown by the wind and it creates an enormous amount of dust. If you live in and around a, a gold mine or a coal mine area, you know that the air can become very dusty. And even inside your homes, if you live near a mine, the homes, the dust on the surface in your houses, that becomes a problem. So we know that there's air pollution, but it's not simply dust. Inside the process or in the process of making these mines and producing the substances, there are other pollutants, not just particles of soil. There can be irritants, things that cause people with asthma and breathing problems to become even worse because of the air pollutants. So the air pollution not only becomes a problem in terms of dust in that it's unsightly, but it can also affect human health. Not only are big piles of dust and sand made, but mining uses a great deal of water. And substances that are produced in the mine contaminate the soil, that means they add toxins or things that are poisons to the soil, to the groundwater, which is the water underground. You've heard of the water table and that there's a lot of water underground, as well as surface water. Remember, we looked at this photograph and we saw a slimes dam. All of that water is extremely acidic. It's contaminated and it's going to seep into the environment and it's going to contaminate the soil and other water sources in the environment. We know that, and also once again going back to this picture, look at the destruction of land that has taken place. When we produce a mine, there is inevitable destruction of land. The mine dumps that are created look unsightly. Sometimes areas that have been excavated or dug out underground produce sinkholes which are very dangerous and we find that areas of ground simply subside and they can cause a great deal of damage. Erosion is another negative impact of mining. We know also, and we've heard terrible stories about people, particularly children sometimes, falling down abandoned mine shafts or getting lost in mine pits and falling into the water that is accumulated at the bottom of a mining pit. And because the sides are so steep, they can't climb out. So they're a hazard in terms of the abandoned mines that are left behind. In mining, we force people off the land and we destroy the habitat, which doesn't do well or mean well for the plants and the animals living in the area because they are destroyed and their place of living is destroyed as well. So we need to be very mindful of the fact that although mining and technology and manufacture of property of physical materials with different properties is very important to our economy. We mustn't lose sight of the fact that the production of these materials often harms our environment hugely. That's it for today. I look forward to seeing you again in our next lesson where we further look at the impact on the environment. But for today, goodbye.